Hello and welcome to Channels Book Club. I am Olakunle Kasumu. Compliments of the season. It has been a fabulous last 12 months and it's great to be turning the last bend of the year. As you know, every December on this show, we release what we refer to as the Channels Book Club Top 20 Nigerian Books of the Year. Our lists are usually generated based on in-house research and contributions from friends of this show who are publishers, booksellers, book distributors, critics, reviewers, book club owners, and viewers. The books that make our lists must be ones written by Nigerians anywhere in the world and published between October of the previous year and December of the current year. We are well aware that lists like these are subjective, so it is always a delight to get contrary views on which books should or should not be on such lists. But one thing we ensure is to work hard enough at shortlisting books worth celebrating, considering the quality of their content, packaging, relevant, and promotional efforts. So, ladies and gentlemen, here are the channel's book club top 20 Nigerian books of 2018. We hope some of the books on our list can be part of your reading list for 2019. Fresh Water. This impressive debut novel is dark, powerful, and provocative. It is, in many ways, about the complexities of a divided self, construction of identities and multiple realities. It focuses on a young Nigerian woman, Ada, who developed separate selves within her. As she grew, Ada became a source of deep concern to her family with her exhibition of volatility. When she came of age and moved to America for college, the group of selves within her grew in par. It soon became clear that something had gone terribly wrong. My mind is no longer here. Osaon, a man who is haunted by a dark past. Donatus, a graduate obsessed with a single-minded resolve to be better than his father. Haruna, the doctor who could not save his, and Chidi, an unemployed graduate who wants to become wealthy at any cost. The world of these four men become entangled with Yinka, the frontman for a powerful trafficking syndicate in this intriguing novel. It's the story of a nation in the midst of decay and of men willing to risk it all in a bid to chase dreams beyond their reach. When Trouble Sleeps when Trouble Sleeps is a thriller that plunges into the dark world of greed, political intrigue, blackmail, murder, and sex workers. The novel's protagonist, Amaka, in this sequel to the award-winning Easy Motion Tourist, returns to continue her one-woman crusade to protect vulnerable women while seeking out ways to bring justice to abusers and corrupt politicians. The self-appointed savior of Lagos's sex workers, Amaka may have bit enough more than she can chew this time as she finds herself embroiled in a complex political scandal that rocked the state and everything dear to her, caught in a game of survival against a backdrop of corruption, sex and violence. Amaka must find a way to outwit those gone in for her life. I've been writing for as long as I can remember. In school, when I'm supposed to be listening to the teacher, I'll be writing in the back of my notebook which is why I was a very bad student <laughs> and I performed poorly in school for a long time. But I've always been consumed by this desire to write and I think it was born out of uh, being surrounded by books all through my childhood and people who had written. For instance, I'm named after my grandfather who himself was a writer who published two books in Yoruba and one of them was a didactic poem which he had written. And when you have uh, that kind of background and people like that around you and you grow up surrounded by books, it's only natural that they would fascinate you. And for me, uh, I think I just found a lot of escape. I don't know what from. From the boredom of daily life, I found escape in books. The Extinction of Mene. Twins, separated at birth, discover their true identities many years later. Brothers Humphrey, a London writer, and Zander, a journalist in Abuja, Nigeria, are descendants of a Nigerian tribe whose members were subjected to drug tests that killed thousands. In this stunning novel, Chuma Nwokolo moves across time and continent to deliver a story that explores power relations expressed through competing narratives that record the life and death of a civilization. 
Lagos Noir. The award-winning series of original noir anthologies launched in 2004 with Brooklyn Noir comprises of new stories, each set in a distinct location within the geographic area of the book. Lagos Noir joins the series with a set of exciting new stories by some of Nigeria's most brilliant writers like Nedi Okorafo, Isi Osundu, Jude Dibia, Chike Unigwe, Igoni Barrett, Saraladipo Manika, Uche Okonkwo, and Leye Adinli. This anthology stands out because of its unique and philosophical approach to crime in Lagos, one of the world's fastest growing cities. It's a must read for lovers of crime stories. Children of Blood and Bones This young adult fantasy novel that is the first of a trilogy is loaded with West African mythology, captivated magic and consummate plots that highlight themes like racism and oppression. This book stretches the boundaries of imagination with its fascinating action scenes and incredible creatures. It debuted at number one on the New York Times bestseller list for young adult books and is currently being developed as a movie by Fox 2000 and Temple Hill Productions.